Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use our swimming add-on. Uh, first thing, let's import the, the package. You of course need the our third person controller. It's written right here. This add-on required at least the base locomotion template. Right? Now first thing, you need to uncheck the project settings. You don't want to override your input and uh, tags and layers. Okay? Uncheck this, it's very important. Otherwise you will lost all the inputs and everything we need in order to our template work. So what we want here is just the new folder add-ons with this swimming pack. Animations, audios, controller, etc. Let's hit import here. And open our new demo scene. We have a add-on folder here, swimming, right, and swimming demo. Now let's take a look uh, on our demo scene. We have a third person swimming, it's a prefab, okay, it's already set up to uh, go around and swim. Let's take a look here, we have a v comment, how to s properly set up a swimming action into any other controller. Okay, let's take a look here. We have several options. Water tag, uh, swimming clip. So obviously you need to um, add a new action into your animator controller. It's the swimming. Basically you, you will just copy and paste over your uh, new controller. Okay, this is just an example, but let's take a look better at how it, how it works. We have a pool demo here, a example, right? And we have a v comment co uh, talking, saying to check the water game object and we give the comment there. So water game object, how it works. Make sure to use a tag water, a layer triggers, and a box collider or any other collider check with its trigger. In this case, uh, it's a simple square pool. So we, we, we use a box collider. And match the size of your collider to be the inside of your water. Like the depth, the height, and the width. In this case, you can see here we have a height, right? And this is uh, the inside of your water. It's where the player will swim. Okay. So th that's pretty much it. Let's take a look. We have some particles. We have sound effects. And new particles. Right. You can swim inside the pool. There is some bubbles going on here. You can go up again. You can exit this thing. The pool. Right? Now, let's take a look at how to create a new character and add those things into him. Um, for example, we have several effects there uh, inside player, like the bubbles. I put the bubbles on his head. Uh, what else? We have uh, swimming particle and sound effects. You can just copy and paste into your other character. For example, let's create a new character here. Base motion, create character. But let's take the red one. Base locomotion. Base locomotion. Okay, hit create. And what is the. Yep. If you press Ctrl and Shift with the move tool, you can align the character on any surface. It's a pretty cool uh, shortcut that I learned recently. <laughs> so we have here the base 
a new controller with a another animator right another animator controller that doesn't have the swimming so we need to go into our in vector swimming that comes with this the swimming add-on right here and uh, copy the swimming uh, substrate machine go into our character and paste here right we just need to make a transition so we can exit to another state. In this case, locomotion will be fine. Uh, okay, good. Now we take the swimming action, copy the component of our other character, and paste as a new component right here. Right? So the effects that are set up here are on are inside our other controller that we don't want. So let's take the bubble here and move to our controller. Let's find my head. Where is my head? And right here. So let's take the bubble and put inside our head. right great and same thing with the effects let's take the effects and actually it will be a lot easier if i put both in the same position like one seven five zero five Cop this, paste this, and now I just want to, it's inside the controller, right? Great. Uh, let's see, what else, what else do I need? Mm, in fact, here. Those are just particles that we it, it will instantiate when it needs. Uh, my bubbles are inside my head and my water effects are inside my character as well. We no longer need this, this one. Uh, let's take a look if it works or if I am, am forgetting something. My particles are here. Great. Let's see if it's here. Okay. working super easy to set up we just we, basically we just copy and paste some components uh, very easy to modify and if you need to modify your uh, your pool or river or whatever you just make, need to make sure that you need that you're using a tag water right the layer triggers and a collider uh, that will be exactly the 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 space of inside your water okay well that's it it's pretty simple to set up and copy and paste components move from each other and make sure to never um modify this prefab because uh, we set up in a way that we move the bubbles and other stuff from from one to another but never hit apply otherwise you will lose this prefab okay oh that's it for today guys hope you learn how to use it and let me know if you have any questions just email us and we can help you okay Bye-bye.